Okay. It's time to do it. Uh, it's time for Ryan's Roses. Public service. If you think something's going on in your relationship, let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. Send us the email, and then we'll see if you want to go on the air. Melissa and Covina is on. Melissa, Aww. thanks for coming on with us. Hello. Hi. Let me read your email so uh, everybody knows where we're starting here. It says, Ryan and Ellen, my fiance and I have been having some problems. We actually took a break last summer. They got back together in October. Last week, he yeah. told me he was going to his friend's house to play pool. Then an hour later, I see he updated his Facebook status with, at Jorge's house, doing what we do best. But his location was not at Jorge's house. The location said he was in downtown L.A. Jorge lives in La Puente. A few minutes later, uh, you say, after realizing his stupid mistake, he took the status down and reposted it, this time without location. Mm -hmm. Of course, I asked him about it. He denied that there was a location on his post and accused me of seeing things. Mm. I wish I would have a screenshot of what I saw. Wow. Um, This is a mistake that I think happens often. You you have to really think through. I mean, if you're going to play this game, yeah, you've got to think through. Is your GPS on? Okay, but what if he typed in downtown for another photo and somehow it tagged to that photo? Like, could it have but been an accident? I don't no, know. not like no, it no. didn't come up. Not so like come up where he is. Thank God for Facebook. That's what Facebook is all good for. Okay. It would come up that he when he puts his status, it says exactly where he is. So he would have to turn off his location status. What would he be doing downtown? Exactly. That's my question. Could he have been downtown, downtown. with Jorge playing pool? But he said he was going to Jorge's in La Puente. Maybe he did, and then maybe they went downtown to play pool. Yeah, but I texted him afterwards when I saw the status say downtown L.A. I texted him. And he said that he was at Jorge's. He wasn't in downtown L.A. Uh, so good follow-up. That? That, yeah, of course I'm going to ask him where he is. Well, here's the he thing. Said, You're not married yet. You're not no, married yet. But you we are engaged. You are engaged. You're not married yet. Do you have kids with him? No. All right, so let's see what's going on. You already took a break from each other last October. Yeah. So that's not a yeah. great sign. Now this. Uh, Melissa, I need you to say, Ryan, you have my permission to call. And in your fiance's name on Kiss FM. Ryan, you have my permission to call on Kiss FM. Well, we're going to call him. Now, Patty is going to come in here. and Patty's going to offer him some flowers, some roses. We want to find out who he's thinking about, who's top of mind, who he sends them to. Okay? Yeah, me too. Me too. Yeah, I know okay. you do. And we also yeah. want to find out what message he would send to you or to whomever he's thinking about. So we're going to ask him what he would say on the card. Okay. Now, we have to stay quiet until I come in. Otherwise, we may not get all the information, okay? All right. I'll try. Okay. I'll and one more question. When you guys took your break, did you see other people? Well, I mean, we Good were question. only on break for a few months, so it's not did like Did you I see had other much. people? Did he? Did you? Good question. I did not go on any dates because we were still talking. But as for him, I don't know. Well, listen, when a guy takes a break, a guy tries to take a real break. I'm just telling you. Well, a real break, out. meaning the, dating the, break? The, like the second a guy knows he's on break, the guy is trying. I don't know if he's he's capitalizing. Right, but he's, but trying. he's trying. I, mean, I don't know if he, I don't know how he could do that because we were engaged for so long. So it's like if we just took off a few months, I mean, how could he even not be thinking about me? But because Ryan says way, guys take the exploratory. He took the I mission. I don't want to think about that, what let, we let, doing Let's make we this phone call. Together, let's make this phone call. All right, let's make this phone okay. call. Uh, okay, be quiet. We're dialing him up now. Hello? May I speak to Rafael? Uh, this is him. Hi, good morning, Rafael. My name is Patty calling from Floral Engagements. How are you? Uh, good. How are you? I'm doing good. Thank you. I'm actually calling you because you've been chosen to receive a free bouquet on us. You can send it to whoever you want this morning. I don't need any information from you. Just the name of the person you want to send them to and a note. And they get delivered today. Oh, okay. Um, and I have to pay something? How much does this cost? No, you're not paying anything. This is just me um, promoting my delivery service. I actually have four bouquets that I'm giving away today. Uh, you can choose from one. I have an I love you bouquet. I have an I miss you, a thinking of you, and a thank you. And uh, like I said, uh, delivery, uh, no charge. And um, they, and you can actually, I can actually add a note for you that will go along with the bouquet. Um, sure. Free of charge. Um, okay, yeah. If you could send it to Sandra. 
I'm sorry, say that again? Uh, if you could send that to Sandra. Sandra, okay. And what uh, kind of bouquet would you like? I Like I said, I have I love you, I miss you, thinking of you, and, and thank you. Um, I guess thinking of you should be fine. Thinking of you. And what do you want to put on the card? We're attaching a nice card there. Um, you could just say that it's from me. I guess is there any way that you could do a delivery like after 5 p.m. because she works nights and I would like to deliver them to her to her work. That's okay. No problem at all. Just give me the address and I make sure she gets them up. Raphael, Raphael, it's Ryan Seacrest and Ellen Kay. Uh, your voice is being broadcast on the radio and your fiance Melissa is on the phone. Who's she, she's asked us to call Sandra? you. Sandra. Wait, Raphael. wait. Who's this? What, What's going on? Raphael, who's Sandra? No one. Who's this? Well, Hold you just on. sent. What do you mean, no one? You just sent a letter, to, uh, uh, flowers to her. Like, okay. If, you know, if you're not thinking happy, of you, why would wait, you wait. Tell me what's this going show? on, here? Raphael? Who, who's on the line right now? This, what's going on? this is your fiance, Melissa. Your voice is being broadcast. Understand that. But most importantly, who's Sandra? That's no one. And no, no, it's not no one. one. Someone it's, works it's, nights, and her name is Sandra. And you want roses to get okay. there, thinking of you after five o'clock. It's not no one. Why are you doing is this? No who is who? It's all, listen. It's all right. Who is Sandra? Sandra is no one. Who is this? This is Ryan. That is Ellen. Hi. This is Melissa. This is, this okay, is, Melissa. What's going on? Why? Why what am do you I? Mean? You tell people? me what's going on. I told I. I knew something was fishy. I knew something was not right. And when I ask you all the time, you don't say anything. Why are you doing this, Raphael? Don't you want to be with me? Of I don't course. understand what you're doing. And we've been trying doing. to work things out, of course. But how are we going to work things out when you're calling me with strangers on the line? Well, Ooh, why Raphael, are you lying? About- Raphael, are you together? Are you and Melissa together right now? Are you together? We are trying you- to work things yes. out. But are you together? Yes. Okay. And Are you engaged? Um, well, I mean, we're trying to see if we can get back to that. We were engaged. Raphael, um, we don't you want to marry me? Do you want of to get married? Yes. I need and to know I something. That's what I, wanted. I need to know. Are you engaged or not engaged? Are you on a break or not a break? That's what I need well, to we know. Just, we, we're starting to work things out. We just got back from a break. We were on a break for... About three so months. So you're back from summer. a break. Okay. Right. All right. So you shouldn't be seeing Sandra. I never said I was seeing Sandra. No, no, but you just said you're thinking of Sandra is no one. Don't worry about that. Is she someone you met on the break? No. Is she someone you knew before? She's no one. No, I I don't understand what's going on. Raphael, she's not no one. How are you sending flowers to no one? This person doesn't exist. The flower's going to show up after five and no one's going to answer the door. She works all night. Raphael, will you say that? How do you expect us to to work? Give me something better than nothing. When you're acting like this, when you're calling me and. and Acting like this. I'm being broadcasted right now? What is that? Your voice is being broadcast. Yes, you need to understand that. Okay, and that's fine. But uh, tell me, do you want to get married to me? If you're not happy, why are you doing this? Be honest. Of course I want to get married with you. That's why we're doing this. That's why we're doing this. Why would you I'm not doing right? anything. Why are you doing this? Why are you not trusting me? How are we going to build this up? That was our whole problem to begin with. You never learned to trust me. Raphael, um, I keep asking you over and over again, and your stories are always short. It, you always change. There's something not right. I don't feel like you're 100% in this. It's like ever since we've got back together, we haven't been moving forward. We've just been staying in this weird place. Just, Just look at it this way. You had the opportunity to send roses to any woman in the world, and you chose someone other than your fiance. She's going to be lit about that. You've had problems in the past. Your stories don't really add up. So it doesn't make her feel great and give her the peace of mind that she needs to get into a marriage with you. you got to see that, and you got to provide her with the peace of mind. But all these pieces to the puzzle and the sketchiness makes her worried. That's why we're on the phone. And why do you want to live that way? Buffalo, you've got to be serious. Do you want to get married? Do you want to start a family with me? Of course, and that's what we're working towards. But, Raphael, you can, we're going to let you guys actually go here, but you have got to explain why you sent Thinking of You Roses to a woman named Sandra who you say is nobody. It doesn't make sense. All right, we're going to oh. put, put you on hold. Okay. Well-deserved it, it, hold. It, 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 it doesn't add up. Mm-mm. Uh, Melissa should not marry this guy. No way. If I'm if I'm listening to everything and I'm believing everything that has just happened there, there's too many pieces of the puzzle that don't add up. 
Are you going to marry a guy that sends flowers to Sandra and says it's nobody? Right. It doesn't make any sense.